Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk and cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me the soothing sound of her name. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena.
No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there is something I have to do. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. We seemed to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging. Big enough for a life. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? 
Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Have you any idea how many times he has helped me get through? Of course you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now, drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. It... it's different. But that just... Can't be different. Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. Why torture myself trying to remember? I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. I'm too upset to even think straight. It's just
Just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. Don't see anything else of value. Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? I should just destroy this useless junk, but not even the venom inside me gives me strength. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled, that wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever? Gift her anything? It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I hate her so much. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. What is this? Like it can't. But it isn't. It couldn't help your damn self. 
How did it happen? I can't remember. Don't worry. It's all kind It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Those noises sound like more than one person. Who can it be? The police? Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. Not like this. Please. No. Yeah. <laughs>